Hey there, Angie Ginsler here, creator of the Social Media Image Templates. And first, I wanna thank you so much for your purchase. I am so excited to have the opportunity to help you get better results with your social media marketing and to save you tons of time and stress. Now, I wanna make sure that you are all set up for success and you are comfortable editing and saving and uploading these images. You need to start by opening the PDF that you received upon your purchase. And once you do that, when you dig in, you'll see on page three, I have some important information and tips and resources to share with you. So be sure to read through this page. And then on page four and page five is where you're going to find the actual files to download. So page four includes links to all of the image templates within Google Slides. And Google Slides is completely free to use as long as you have a Google account. And it's really easy to edit and surprisingly robust, which is why I designed the templates within Google Slides to make it easy for anyone around the world to access and edit. So you don't need fancy expensive software and you don't need fancy design skills anybody can edit these. So you can just click each of these links to download the different files. And if you need help downloading them, I have another short video tutorial that you can watch that will guide you through step by step. And then on page five is the links to download each of the files using PowerPoint. And again, I have a short video tutorial specific to that if you need help accessing these files using PowerPoint. And so I recommend downloading each of the four files and then saving them within a unique folder somewhere either on your computer or on your Google Drive. So I'll share with you my process. So I have all of the templates and these are actually the ones from 2019, but I keep them all in a special folder called social media along with my social media content calendar. That way, each week when I sit down to schedule my social media posts, I just open up each of these files and they are all ready for me and it makes the process really quick and easy. So I recommend that you save a copy of whichever files you download, if it's slides or PowerPoint, in a special social media file along with the content calendar if you got a copy of the calendar. Okay, so now I wanna dig into each of the individual Google Slide files and provide you with some different tips and editing tricks to help you customize them. And I'm also going to show you how to save them as high resolution images that you can then upload either to social media channels or to a social media scheduler. So let's start with these styled quotes. Now, I also wanna point out before I dig into the tips for the styled quotes is that every single image, no matter which one you're working with, if it's the questions, the holidays, the quotes, every single image is ready to post as is. There is no customization required. You can just download it, save it to your computer, and then upload it straight to social media if you'd like. But a lot of my customers really like to add their own branding or their unique style and touch to them. So that's where this editing comes in. So if you have no intentions to customize the images, you just wanna save them, let me show you this really quick. When you want to save an image, you're gonna select the one you like, and then you're gonna click File, and then Download, and you wanna select PNG. If you select a JPEG image, it's gonna be a lower quality, lower resolution. So for highest resolution, you wanna select PNG image, and then it's gonna save directly to your computer. You need to save this somewhere, which you can just leave it in your downloads folder, or you can open it and rename it, save it where you want to save it. Then you need to upload it directly to your social media channel. So you could load it straight to Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn, or you could even access it from your phone and upload it straight to Instagram, or you could load it into a social media scheduler that you use. So I use and recommend Later, and I also use and recommend Social Bee. So those are the two that I use, but there are tons of social media schedulers out there. So once those images are saved, then you need to upload them however you like to post content to social media. So that's how you save images. But if you want to do any editing to the images, then keep watching because I'm going to walk you through each template and how to edit. So with these styled quotes, this includes 52 total quotes in two different styles. And these 52 quotes are in line with the 2020 social media content calendar. So if you purchased a copy of the content calendar, 
you know that I have a quotes tab in here for you to post a quote every single week. And they are in alphabetical order, and so are the styled quotes, making it really easy for you to scroll through and find the exact quote that you want. Now you can edit most elements of these quotes. The only thing you cannot edit with the styled quotes is the text. Because these quotes are using premium fonts with styled typography, you cannot edit them. But that's why I've created an editable quotes file so you have complete control and customization over that text. But if you like this styled text look, then you can choose from either black text or white text with every single quote. And this allows you to customize them depending on your brand. So let's say you want to change the background color. You would just click background right here and let's do this pink color, click done. So you can see now you have this new background, but maybe you don't really like that with the black or actually let's say one of your brand colors is really dark. Let's do this dark purple. Well, that black doesn't look very good. That's why I give you options with black text and white text. So let's click on the purple and boom, there you go. That looks so much better. And it was really quick and easy to edit that. Now, while you can't edit the actual text, you can edit the text image in here. So you can move it around and you can make it bigger. Let's make it a lot bigger. You can make it a lot smaller. Let's see, let's make it, let's make it bigger. So you can make it bigger you can make it smaller just by altering the actual text image itself and you can add new elements to the image so if you want to add your logo or you want to add an image you would just do click insert image and then upload from computer and then let's select a random image here that we want to throw in so we'll just pick this one and then you will size it to fit the canvas that you're working with and you could leave it like that. You can see here kind of where it fits, or if you want, you can crop that image to fit within the canvas. You can see there it snaps, see that red line? So that tells me, okay, that's lined up with the canvas. Oh, and sometimes it will do this. If this happens to you, it ended up taking the actual image and shrinking it. So I'm gonna control Z to undo that. And I'm gonna grab it again, trying to get that crop line. So it actually crops, there we go. So now you know it cropped it out. We're gonna click on that. Now this right now, this image is showing in front of the text. So you can either do control arrow down to make it go behind the text, or you can right click with your mouse and do order and send it to back. So now that text is in front. And let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see it better. And you can also add a drop shadow behind this text. So let's do format options. You can do drop shadow and let's make it a little bigger, a little more dramatic, at least so you guys can see this. I'm gonna change the transparency and the distance. See, now you can see that drop shadow. Obviously that doesn't look that great, um, but you can change the blur radius. You can play around with all kinds of things with that drop shadow there. Okay, the last thing I want to do with this image is to add my website URL and my logo. So let me show you how to do that. Adding your logo is very similar to adding an image. You just upload from your computer and you pull in your logo from wherever you keep it. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my logo here and then you size it accordingly and place it where you would like it. And again, these red lines will help you. So this red line is telling me that this image is now centered. So pay attention to those red lines because they act as helpful guides for you. So we're gonna put my logo there and I could be done with this image, but let's say I wanna add my URL somewhere as well. So I'm gonna put my logo over here to the corner and I'm gonna take this text box and I'm gonna bring it over here onto the image and I'm gonna add my website. And let's make that white. I'm gonna change the font because I want, I have a specific brand font that I use for my logo. And let's make it a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna right justify that. And then we're gonna try and line it up so it goes very similar to the logo. There we go. So you can play around with that some more, obviously. Change lots of different elements, add a drop shadow. 
but this gives you a good idea of how you can really customize these images. You can take it from, you know, a plain image with black background and white text to something very unique and branded for your business. Okay, so now that you've seen how to edit the styled quotes, let's move on over to the editable quotes. The editable quotes are all black text on a white background because the text is 100% editable. So you could completely change this text out to something totally different. You could even put it in a different language, which is really cool. And editing these editable quotes is very similar to some of the tips that I showed you on the styled quotes. You can change background colors, you can add in images, you can play around with all kinds of different things, but you can also change the text. So I wanna show you a few tips with changing this text and altering that. So when you change your text, make sure that you it is all selected. So you could either use your mouse or control A to select it all. And you can go through some of the different fonts that Google provides and try a different font. And you can play around with the different fonts, bolding, italicizing it, uh, different sizes of the font. There's a lot of variety that you can bring to this. Now you can also get more fonts. If you just click on more fonts, you can go through and see all the different fonts that Google Slides provides. And you can even sort by specific types um, and there's even some different languages in here. So let's do Hebrew and you can see how you can see that font, what it looks like in that different language, which is really great. You can sort by types. So if you want a handwritten font, you can sort by that. Um, maybe you want a serif font. So it allows you to sort by that and you can just click on a font and it will add it within this drop down menu here for you. So let's choose this Meriwether font. And you can also play around with the spacing between your lines here. So you could do 1.15, 1.5. Uh, you can do custom spacing if you wanna go in there and choose exactly how far of a space you want. Um, but the other thing that you can do is if you want tighter spacing, let's bring this up just a little bit to give us some room. And I'm gonna do Control C to copy and Control V to paste. And so now I have two versions of this text and I am going to create each line on a separate text box. Now I'm not gonna do all the lines because this will take a while, but this will allow you to just see how easy that is to really customize the spacing if you want it a little bit tighter. And then you can bring them in and you can put them, stack them right on top of each other. You can offset them just slightly. There's a lot of fun things you can do with text when you put each line of text as its own text box. It really gives you total freedom to manipulate that text however you like. And again, once you're done editing that text, then you can do a lot more customization. You can insert images behind the text. You can bring in your logo, a URL text box, just like I showed in that previous section of the styled quotes. So there is so much customizing you can do with these quotes. Okay, so now that you know how to customize the quotes, let's move on to the editable questions. Now these editable questions also integrate seamlessly with the 2020 social media content calendar. So I also have a tab for all the different questions and every single week includes a prompt for you to ask a question. And those questions are listed here. They're in alphabetical order and the editable question templates are also in alphabetical order, making it really easy for you to find the question that you'd like to post. Now I've created the questions in two different styles depending on your unique style, but you can also customize each style 100% to fit your brand. So I've got this style with the muted background and the black text, and then this style with the more vibrant background and white bolded text. So let me show you how to make some edits to the different styles. So with this first style, the muted background is created with a shape box. So all I did was create a square shape. I placed it over here, made it uh, white, and then gave some transparency to it. So to create a transparency, you click on custom 
And then right down here, you choose the level of transparency you want. So this is fully transparent, not at all transparent. And you select the level you want. And now you can see through it. So let's delete that. So that's what this is right here. So the first thing to do when editing these, if you don't like that box, you can click on it and delete it. I also wanna point that out, I'm gonna put it back in here, because if you try to delete this image right here, you're gonna wonder like, what is going on? So you first need to delete that, and then you can delete the image if you don't like that image. You can then add your own image, or maybe you just want a plain white background, or maybe you want a colored background that fits your brand identity. So let's bring in some pink. Um, I also have a light white drop shadow behind this text. So to get rid of that, you click Format Options, and you can either remove the drop shadow or you can edit it a bit if you'd like to play around with it and change it up, but you can also just completely remove it by clicking that box. You can, again, change the text. You can get a different font in here if you have a different brand font that you like to use. Let's do that one. You can make the size bigger. You can, let's see, let's unbold it and italicize it. You can change the color of the text. I mean, you can edit this thing down completely, 100% every piece is editable. You can add in a text box with your URL right here if you want to, or you can add in your logo or add in a different image. There is so much that you can customize with these templates. Okay, so let's take a look at the other style of template. So it's just one image, there's no text box in front of it, so that's easy to delete if you'd like to get rid of it. To alter the text, every single one of these are in all caps. So if you don't like the all caps look, you select the text, come up to Format, Text, Capitalization, you can choose either Title Case or Lower Case. Title Case will capitalize the first letter of each word. And then lowercase will make sure that every single word is lower. And so then you would just need to capitalize that first word of the sentence. And then I also have a pretty strong drop shadow behind these so that white text pops against each image. So you can remove that really easily. <laughs> of course, now we can't see it, but let's change the background color so that we can see that text and we'll hit done. Now again, just like with those styled quotes that I showed you, you can add in your own images here. So let's insert an image. Maybe there's a different image you would like to use. Um, you can size that to fit the canvas and you can drop it back behind the text and you can add in a logo, you can add in your website URL. There really is no limit to how you can edit these templates. Okay, so let's move on to the holidays. So there are 51 total holidays within the holiday templates, and every single holiday corresponds with a holiday within the 2020 calendar. So you can see with January, we've got New Year's Day, Get to Know Your Customers Day, Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and they follow that exact same order within the templates. I have also included in the notes of each slide the name of the day and the actual day that it falls on in 2020. Now, each of these templates is also 100% editable. All of the text is editable text. And again, just like the other templates, you can edit 100% of all the elements. So let's say for example, you know, on this day on Super Bowl Sunday, I have it, are you ready for some football? You could change that to happy Super Bowl Sunday, or let's go to uh, celebrate spring. Maybe you just wanna say first day of spring instead. Or another example would be National Social Media Day. I put in here, what's your favorite social network? Just as a way to spark some engagement on your social media channels. But maybe you want to change that to, you know, just happy National Social Media Day. So you have full customization abilities with this. So I hope you found this video helpful and I sincerely hope that you love these image templates and they help you save a ton of time and stress next year. Now, if you have any questions at all or you experience any issues along the way, feel free to send me an email at info at and a member of my team will help you out. And you can also join my private Facebook group by going to angiegensler.com 
community, which will get you access into Team of One business owners, which is a really great place to ask questions, get feedback, and connect with like-minded entrepreneurs. Okay, so you're now ready and on your way to tackling social media and growing your business. Have a great day.